G'day, welcome to Star Portraits. We've come to Deansgate Locks in Manchester, a city that holds a special affection for our sitter. It was on stage at the Comedy Store, which recently opened a branch here, where he first really made his name. He's a comedian, writer, director and actor, and I think he's gonna make for a really interesting portrait. It was in The Young Ones that our sitter first came to the public's attention as the mad punk Vivian. <laughs> Vivian! 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 Honestly, whenever anything explodes in this house, it's always blame Vivian! <laughs> Married to another comic actor and writer, Jennifer Saunders, Adrian has performed with her in various comedy sketches. More recently, he took time out for a memorable performance in Comic Relief's Fame Academy. I love you, baby. And here he is, Hi, Adrian Rolf. Edmondson. How Absolute are you? Absolute pleasure to meet you. How are you going? Good. I'm all right, yes. Yeah. Yes, I'm looking forward to this. It's what a, sort of a portrait are you expecting or wanting, shall I say? I'm wanting to see what other people make of me. Uh, that's it's, it's a kind of vanity, isn't it? And it's, it's yeah. a nice experiment to see how other people see you. Because when I look out through my own little eyes and my little piggy face, I, <laughs> I think of myself as someone quite different. You're going to wear the specs? Yeah, I'm going to wear my glasses. I've spent, uh, spent my life taking them on and off, trying to be vain and bumping into things. And, uh, <laughs> Anything you don't want to see in the portrait? I'd like to see rather less of this <laughs> and these. <laughs> and uh, I don't think we'll get around there, will we? But uh, Shall we go and do it? Let's do it. Step this way, sir. These are the artists I've chosen to capture the different sides of Adrian. Morgan Penn lives in Chelsea and is a self-taught artist. He paints in oils and he's inspired by the artwork in the comic books he grew up reading. He's recently painted musician JK and comedian Johnny Vegas. Bill Mundy lives in Henley-on-Thames. Bill's an established miniaturist and paints exquisite portraits which are in collections all over the world. Bill has painted the Duke of Edinburgh and Spike Milligan. Nick Archer lives and works in Hastings. He uses creative photography as a starting point and produces unusual paintings in oil, on canvas and sometimes even on sandpaper. In 2002, he was awarded the prestigious hunting prize for his painting Flying Dumbo. We've all gathered in the comedy store's foyer bar and the artists are setting up. Nick, Morgan, Bill, welcome to Star Portraits. Are you at ease with the whole prospect of yeah, 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 yeah. getting there? <laughs> yeah? Let me tell you a little bit about our sitter. He was born in Bradford, came here to Manchester to study drama. He was a founder member of the comic strip and appeared many times on stage at the comedy store. I think he was probably best known for his role as the mad punk on television in the early 80s. Can you hazard a guess at who it might be? Adrian, Adrian Edmondson, yeah. Let me go and get him for you. <laughs> so do you think you're right? Yeah, who is it you said? I, I yeah, Adrian Edmondson. Yeah. Yeah. You, you can't probably recognise him. Oh, that yeah. chance. Yeah. Here they come. <laughs> yes, it's me. <laughs> Brick Mail. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> you guess. Adrian Edmondson, this Hi, is Nick. Hi, Nick. Hi, Nick. Hi, Hi, Morgan. Morgan. Oh. Morgan. Oh. And Bill. Hi, Hi. Nick. Hi. I'm hoping for something kind of exciting. I don't know what styles you paint in, but I'm looking for something kind of weird. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Make an installation of me. <laughs> well, your seat is just over there. Marvellous. Uh, gentlemen, if you can get ready. Okay. How would you like me to sit? I'd like a three quarter, yeah. <laughs> Morgan's taking a good look at Adrian and making some pencil sketches to determine his composition. Nick's working on a pre-primed linen weave canvas. He's going straight in with his oils. Bill works on watercolour board, but before he gets there, he's making rough sketches on paper, which he'll later transfer to the board. 
Oh, I'm bored of sitting like this. <laughs> you just started. I have to sit here all day. <laughs> there was a big debate before uh, we came in today about um, whether I should wear my glasses or not. Oh, I'm all for the glasses. Are the lights bouncing off my head and making me look balder than I no, really no, am? No, it's fine. It's nice and, <laughs> it's nice and matte. Because because you've say. got the power to add more hair. If you really want to. Or take it away. <laughs> or take it away. <laughs> the artists have just five hours in this session to study and capture something of Adrian. But Adrian is not allowed to see any of the work in progress. He has to wait till the paintings are revealed to him when they're all finished. Then he has to choose one which he can keep. The artists will also be taking photographs that they'll work from in their studios over the next couple of weeks. You happy with all these sets of eyes peering at you? Yeah, it's rather weird, that. Yes? Getting a bit of a stiff neck, actually. And I'm almost passing out from holding my stomach in. <laughs> uh, it's OK, we're doing it for you on, on our canvases. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can do it, but the cameras are on as well. <laughs> Have you been painted before? No, never been painted. Never? No. So Interesting a... experience? Yeah, it is bizarre, because you, you've got a lot of people looking at you with one eye like this. And, uh, <laughs> Builders are a lot of two-eyed looking. Well, I've got a, only got one good eye. <laughs> <laughs> are you painting or are you rubbing it out? <laughs> you laugh the other side of your face when you see it. <laughs> I try and draw dramatic poses, more dramatic than, say, a standard portrait. I try and sort of pump up the colours and I try and work out in the painting where I'm, I want the eye to go to first, and it, generally it's the face. What's that, white spirit? Yeah, white yeah. spirit. I just sort of put a wash on, and then I'm just trying to work it back and just seeing what comes from it, really. I noticed when you're doing your, your original drawing, you had a colour picture on the left. Was that for reference for depth? Is it, well, normally when I paint, I normally have all my paintings around me, so I've got a portrait of my wife. I've just been referencing that. I noticed you blocked all that first bit in with a, a chunk of rag. Yeah. I just find if I use a brush straight off, I, I, I tend to want to start doing the details. And, bits, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. And, and I'd rather just prepare all the end of painting and then I'll sort the detail out later. That's fascinating to watch that. Morgan is inspired by comic book illustration, particularly by the work of Mike McMahon. I find a lot of the time when I go around uh, traditional art exhibitions, I'm hard pushed to find one painting that excites me. Whereas if I go to a comic book store, any comic book I pick up, I find very exciting. But there's an artist for 2000 AD called Mike McMahon. His characters, his technique, the composition is exceptional. He's definitely one I always watch out for. Now, Let's see if Morgan can incorporate some of that energy and drama into his portrait of Adrian. In contrast, Nick creates the drama by his use of photography and his bold paint strokes. That is just lovely. Thanks. I love it. What is that white spirit you've put on there? Yeah, I'm just kind of dragged through with a large brush. So. <laughs> I know, it's <laughs> lovely. You can already see who it is quite clearly. Right. I mean, I usually prefer working from, from photographs. Just because with a photograph, I can take more liberties like that. Uh, when there's somebody sat there in front of me, I feel slightly inhibited doing that. You should do more with the, with the sitter there because this is just magic. If I go home with three kind of studies of some sort, uh, I'll probably work on a larger painting in the studio, yeah. um, which will be the one that I'll bring to the reveal. So. For me, it's about the language of paint, so it's how paint's put down. I'll literally throw paint on the canvas and drag it across with a brush, using the paint um, in as creative way as possible. It's informed by photography, so that parts of the painting are quite obviously done from photographs. I don't like to hide the fact I'm working from a photograph. Nick is influenced by the paintings of British artist Michael Andrews, whose work originated from photography as well as from observation. His paintings were very photographic, and for me, he opened up possibilities of working from photography and not having to hide the fact. And I'd say my paintings are as much about the photograph as they are the sitter, just because it allows me to work in a certain way. What's the difference between a photograph and a portrait? I don't know. About a month. 
<laughs> True. Hopefully there's more of your soul in a portrait. I think a painting has more than a photograph in it. I can get more character in than a photograph. Yeah. This is exciting. All three artists deal with portraying realism. Nick is warping it for his painting. Morgan has blocked in the space behind Adrian and is now moving into the features. And Bill has already created two sets of intricate drawings. I can't wait to see how they all progress. Bill, I, I was amazed to see how quickly you got a likeness up on, on the paper. And what's the progressive uh, move now? Just about finished this initial drawing, and then I'm going to transfer it onto the board there, and then I'll start painting. Hey. And then I'll decide whether I'm going to put hands on, which I might do, or whether I might paint the he head a little bit bigger and not have hands. I've been sitting here with my hands like this all ready day, and now he says he might not put them in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? I might, I probably will do the hands. Yes, I think you should. I think they're so either the hands or a bigger head. <laughs> <laughs> Which would you prefer? <laughs> How long do you, do you visualise this take? This will take me about uh, 12 hours a day for the next uh, two and a half weeks. <laughs> or more. <laughs> Gosh. Bill's one of the UK's most successful painters of miniatures. It's painstaking work achieving super realistic detail in a kind of stippled pointillism. I suppose the origin of miniatures really is the illuminated manuscripts of the Middle Ages. And prior to the invention of photography, people would take miniatures of their loved ones overseas with them. Samuel Cooper was a prominent miniaturist in the 17th century, painting the important people of the day, like Oliver Cromwell. I think Samuel Cooper's painting has got such wonderful modelling. He really can make a portrait come alive and you can look at it under a glass and it looks as if it's an oil painting. His technique was wonderful. Mostly I paint watercolours and when I'm doing a large watercolour as I'm doing for this particular sitting, I will paint still with the point of a brush, which means it takes me a long time. Well, we're almost halfway through now. Shall we take a break? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Afterwards, Sorry. you guys can take your reference photographs. Does it sound fair? Great. Now you can move. Oh, oh my neck. I'll give you such a thump. So, Adrian, we're having a bit of a break from the sitting and now I'm asking you to sit down again. What's the stage like for you? Do you think comedy is art? Uh, I don't. Uh, comedy's got to be more kind of visceral and, uh, and not take itself seriously, so it can never be art, I don't think. It's, uh, that's too pompous. But your pop videos, yeah. I mean, you can't well, say that you didn't have an artist's eye to create that. Well, when I was at school, we reached that kind of weird thing uh, at O-levels, where you're choosing your O-levels, and uh, suddenly art wasn't an option anymore, and you had to do Greek and German and some bizarre things that I've never used since. Uh, so when I, when I eventually got the opportunity, I got the opportunity through um, a comic strip episode that there was a spoof uh, promo in it, and mm. I was then started people started asking me to make them for them. And the best one I made was one for Squeeze called Hourglass. It's got a lot of artistic references in it. It's got uh, a lot of Dali in it, all the sort of bending guitars that are melting away. And Escher's room where you can never tell where people are, and they get bigger and they get smaller. And it's, all, it's all very tricky, and uh, unfortunately, I used every trick I knew. In one, one video. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should get back and do some more painting of you. Well, we have been sitting all day. Do you mind yeah. if I just do a little bit of pogoing? Pogoing. <laughs> just, to, just to warm up the limbs. Yeah. <sighs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Good. Oh, oh. That's marvellous. Come on, Luke. <laughs> <Ta> da <laughs> OK, Good. folks. Good lunch. Adrian's back. Um, before we get started, <clears throat> would you like to do the reference photographs now? Yeah. Good okay. idea? Yep. Yeah. All right. Okay. That's great. Good hands. Yeah. <laughs> the artists are all looking for different things from their photographs. But if you could come towards us, just, just a fraction. What are you trying to actually capture with Adrian there? Um, having a photograph in the studio frees me up to... Uh, concentrate on mark making a lot more than having to get something about his bone structure and the literal qualities of, of Adrian. Also, I mean, particularly because it's Adrian, 
when I think of him on TV, he's very animated. If I can capture that kind of movement and that, that life, I leave the shutter speed just a little bit open so that any kind of movement and blurring that happens it's, it creates happy accidents. And, and you, do you, do you use that blurring I in the paint? I utilise that in the paint. Wow. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I'd so. wait to see that. OK, are his photographs all done? Yep. 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 Back to painting then. There are less than two hours left to go. There you go, Morgan. The slight look of panic in your eyes now. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute terror. <laughs> Artist's fear. <laughs> so is Vivian still part of your life, Adrian? It doesn't take a genius to see that all my characters have been very similar. <laughs> They're all born from a, another side of my character that happens when I get drunk. At university, uh, I used to, uh, used to try and entertain people at parties by driving my motorcycle up their stairs. And... Um, and it just kind of stuck, a demonic stuntman. <laughs> it's always rather appealed to me. OK, fellas, just a few more minutes. Hang on a minute. I, I think I might do without my glasses. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you professionals. Get another canvas out. OK, chaps, that's it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Put down that. your brushes. <laughs> Painting's finished for the day. Oh, thanks, mate. But you can't afford to see me anymore. <laughs> A week has passed, and it's time to see how the artist's work is developing. We've come to Henley-on-Thames to catch up with Bill Mundy. Well, there you are, Rolf. That's the work so far. That's about 45 hours work, I would say. Dear I'm painting dear. about 12 hours a day at the moment. <gasps> I would normally take about three or four hundred hours to do a painting <laughs> this big. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. Are you pleased with it? Yeah, I am. I think I've got a good likeness. I've got that little nice smile I wanted. Yeah, it's just him, isn't it? Well, the mouth, to my mind anyway, is the most important feature to get a likeness. The mouth is the feature of the face that moves. The mouth has the character. That light of, a line yeah. of light along the top of the head is brilliant. I've not used a scrap of white on here. Everything that's white is showing through. Even the little dots in the eye is white paper. Because white, to my mind, in gouache, which it would be, would dull it down a lot. <laughs> You'll be very happy with the shirt then. I'm happy with the shirt because it means <laughs> that half of it's pure white paper. That's going to save me about a week's work. <laughs> Where will you go next? Well, I finish off the hands partly because Adrian said he was posing for so many hours with his hands, but also because I like painting hands because it's expressive. So it's very much something yeah. about the man, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Can't wait to see the finished painting. I can't wait to finish it. <laughs> now to Hastings on the south coast to see how things are progressing with Nick Archer. Nick's using his photographs and experiences from the sitting to work on two canvases. OK, there you go, Rolf. Very different. There's such a change from the static image that you yeah. had on the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, I see the, the two paintings as, as two different sides of Adrian in a way. So this is where he was actually putting on his performance face. You know, it was very much yeah. the Vivian kind of look. Yeah. Whereas that one, I felt I kind of caught him just at a moment where he was slightly unaware, he was slightly more vulnerable. What will you do? From here, how, how do you progress? Right, uh, some of this is slightly dirty. You can see on this one, I've started applying fresher reds and pinks, and yeah. some of the greens are just a little bit more fresher. So that'll start happening to this as well. You worried about a deadline? Not really, because I work quite quickly. The main danger, I suppose, is losing the whole painting altogether so that everything goes horribly wrong. Oh, that, <laughs> that's the main danger. But um, oh, in terms of a deadline, no, I, th I think that'll be fine, really. When you finish, is that when you'll decide which one to show him? Um, I'll, I'll just have to decide on the day. Yep. It might be quite a difficult decision. And now to London and Morgan's home. He is working with a comic idea he set up in one of his photographs. OK, Rolf, here's Adrian. Wow. What a difference from the first one. Now, why did you decide to go away from that Original. Well, I thought the original one was a bit stiff, a bit staid, and it's not in keeping with his personality. He has quite an explosive character, so the cigar is all going to be exploded out oh. here. I'm going to have embers dropping down, and this is the sort of uh, soot on the back wall. I didn't understand that was what you were going to do, but that's, that's yeah. wonderful, like the joke cigar. Yeah. You're going to leave that jacket brown? 
Um, no, this orangey brown is is going to be the underpainting, and then over the top I'm going to paint it like a muted blue uh, for the mm -hmm. denim jacket, mm -hmm. and let some of the orange sort of sing through. It gives it a, a, a bit of a bite. Yeah, uh, gives it a bit of a lift, and makes it almost more real. That's good. Have you felt a lot of pressure? Um, Yes, but that's mainly, have I got it right? Have I got the composition right? You know, how can I get the best out of the painting? Yeah, the Rather time, than any external Yeah, the time pressure. constraint yes. is not worrying you. No, oh, not at good. all. Do you think you'll go for this one? I'm not sure. I think it will raise a smile with him, but uh, whether he chooses or not, I don't know. It's a week later and all the portraits are now finished. We're here in Devon in the beautiful Dartmoor National Park in the village of Chagford, where Adrian now lives. We've come here to show him the three portraits. He'll be set the task of choosing just one of them, which he'll then get to keep. And I can't wait to see his reactions to these three very different approaches. Will Adrian be impressed by the intricate and super realistic detail of Bill's watercolour? Or maybe he'll favour the photographic movement represented in Nick's work. Perhaps he will be blown away by the animated style and comedy of Morgan's portrait. The artists are setting up their portraits inside this beautiful 16th century building which serves as a village community hall. I want to catch up with Adrian before I show him the portraits and I think I know where he might be. Adrian. Hey, how are you? I'm very good, and you? I'm very well. I don't know whether I told you, but my wife, Alwyn, she spent all her teenage years here in Yeah, Chelford. I was aware of that. It's a lovely part of the world, and I can understand why your wife, Jennifer Saunders, and yourself would want to come here. Have you adapted well to country living? We, uh, we filmed a lot of our early uh, comic strip material in and around Dartmoor, huh. and uh, we eventually got a holiday home down here, and after about 10 years of ferrying up the kids up and down the motorway, we just decided the journey wasn't worth it and we just moved in. Do people think that your life is like a cartoon comedy sketch between you and Jennifer? Yeah, people think we live in a sitcom. Uh, but, you know, we're quite normal. <laughs> you know, it's, it's depressingly normal, our life, you know. She's never happier than when she's out deadheading roses and mowing the lawn, you know, and, uh, and I like <laughs> just sitting down. <laughs> the portraits. What do you think you're going to get? I feel quite happy about the way I look and the way I present myself. I'm aware whenever I see a still photograph of myself that I look... Well, I'm no oil painting. <laughs> and we shall find that out we later, probably. We shall all that today, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But before Adrian sees those portraits, a word with our three artists. So, Morgan, Bill, Nick, how are you? Good? All right. Good yes. Did you have any anxieties in the week since I've seen you last? Time for me, that was all. I would like to have done a complete background with a few hundred hours rather than the two weeks we had to paint it in. Yeah. Time wasn't the issue for me, really. It was more the kind of painting I wanted to do to represent aid. And Morgan, what about yours? There's a couple of disasters on the way. Yes. But, uh, yeah, no, it, it got rectified. <laughs> <laughs> Adrian's coming in a minute, and I want to get his honest reaction. So if I can ask you just to leave, and I'll call you back when he's made his decision. Yeah. yeah fine. Thank you. <laughs> Adrian, <laughs> we've got three really different paintings here. I can't wait to see your reaction. You ready? <laughs> I am, yeah. Here we go then. Oh, One, uh... two, three. Hup! Extraordinary. That's bizarre, isn't it? It's very, very me. It is. The match is just fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. I know who it is. Yeah? It's Morgan. They kept on getting me to stick that tube of rolled up gaffer tape in my mouth. I thought this isn't going to work. <laughs> what's, he, what's he doing? Ready for the next one? No, not yet. Oh. That's, I really like that. That's very, very good. Right. Next one. Okay. Ooh. Are you ready? Yes. One, two, three, hop. <laughs> That's bizarre. In what way bizarre? He didn't flatten my stomach out much, did he? He did. <laughs> did he? <laughs> <laughs> Not very unkind. That is extraordinary. It's Bill, obviously. We know it's Bill. And he gave me the hands. I look slightly uh, inscrutable. Well, that is your mouth, isn't it? I mean, yeah. that's exactly the way you look. 
I had no idea that jumper was so nicely ironed. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, isn't it? Look at the shadow areas and that. And... Yeah. <laughs> Have you changed your opinion about photorealism? I was thinking, I bet the one I like best is, is the photorealism. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> there's something other than me in that one. It's very exciting, that one. That one's very truthful. Wait till you see the third one. Right, you are. Yeah, I'm on. You want to see it? <laughs> Here we go. A one, two, three, and it's a hoop. That's bonkers, isn't it? That is bizarre. There's a notion of kind of rubberized glassness, isn't there, there? Yeah. And it's only just those little white flakes. I look a lot younger. I do like a portrait where you're not in the middle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, yeah, that's good. It's a great notion, isn't it? Yeah. He's got my broken teeth very nicely. The different. I've got broken teeth. The little. I, I, that's a nice reference to the comedy. Uh, comedy story, thing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Kind of ghostly teeth, aren't they? Yeah. I'd love to see a lot of other stuff of Nick's. Yeah. It's time for you to come to a decision. <laughs> I'll go and bring the artists in, and uh, good luck. You've got to choose just one of these. See you soon. Which one do you like, Rolf? Adrian, here it is, decision time. Stand by your easels, gentlemen. I have to say I guessed correctly. <laughs> there they are. I'm touched, really, that people could put so much work into painting a little git like me. Uh, so, so, so thank you, all of you. I think, Morgan, taking on a joke is a dangerous thing to do. I think you pulled it off. I love the match. <laughs> I, I love the way the match pops out in 3D. And the way the explosion happens behind the head, it's genuinely very exciting. Now, Bill, it's an extraordinary painting. You have flattered me, it's very kind of you. It's not quite a six-pack, but it's slightly less than, than is there. And uh, the work around the mouth is extraordinary. I, I recognise myself in it, and it's... The hardest part. Is it, a mouth? Yeah. yeah. I thought hands were difficult, <laughs> but the hands are fantastic. You've got my nice raised blood. I like all that. Um, Nick, this is just a kind of surrealist, rubber fetishist dream, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, uh, I, I adore the fact that he's off centre. It's just beautiful. And it's, uh, it's genuinely an exciting picture. The picture... I would like to take home with me. It's a completely a gut reaction and was from almost the instant I saw it, I would like to take Morgan's. Hey. <laughs> well done, well done. <laughs> Three great portraits there. Adrian chose the one that made the immediate impact. Which one would you have chosen? See you next time. Well, I would have chosen Morgan's painting as well. In fact, I, I, I would have had a bet on it, and I'm glad he did. I think all three paintings were completely different. That kind of choice is a very, very, it's down to taste, really. And, uh, and you know, uh, I think he made the right, right decision on the day. I wanted to do a, a dramatic picture, and with this being a joke, it can fall either way. It'll either work or it won't. And luckily, he liked it, so I think it worked. <laughs>